Hi, I'm Hannah. I have ideas, build sets and make photos. Today I'm working with the model Lois Chapman or the real Snow White and we're going to make some magic in these clouds. So we're going to counterbalance the sun. Yeah. I'm going to adjust the clouds at the top to add some height variation. And then you can get changed. Yeah. Um, and then did you want to do the interview? Sorry. I'm just, I'm just talking to you. <laughs> you... Yeah, yeah. Uh. I'm going to look really cool for this. Oh, yeah, I can. No, I won't. I mean, I don't even know She's if I'm in view. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> how are you doing with the sun and everything in terms of light photography? How does it feel? Not ideal. Not ideal. Ideally, we would do this at sunset and the sun sets over London. Yeah, it's definitely not setting. It's like <laughs> up there right now. Previously to this, we did a self-portraiture shoot but now we're doing a shoot that incorporates a model. Thank you for joining us, Lois. So um, just what's your vision today and talk us through like, what is it that you're attempting to, what are you going for today? What am I attempting? Yeah. Dreamy clouds, almost like the stairway to heaven. Mm. Um, very kind of dramatic, over the top, floaty. I mean, it's pretty sunny. So these clouds blending with the sky. Yeah. But I, I come prepared yeah. <laughs> and I have black smoke. Yeah. So that, there's going to be an interesting experiment with the sunshine, the smoke and then the clouds. More smoke is needed. So I'm not, I can't be like behind the camera as well. So much wind. I mean, this looks like quite a lot. Yeah. But it's just 10 kilograms of teddy bear stuff in. 10 kilograms. 10 kilograms. 30 pounds. How many teddy bears physically died to make this shoot I didn't happen? sacrifice any. These are all just, these are unstuffed teddy bears. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm framing this first shot. We're going to have Lois sitting on the steps of clouds to heaven. And I'm also balancing the sun, this is extremely strong sun, with the flash exposure, which I haven't done in a very long time. <laughs> yeah. Your white carpet waits. I can't get this there. Come this way, yeah. What are the differences, pros and cons wise, for using a model as opposed to the self-portraiture that we did in our last video? Control is the pros are a control. You have someone else to be able to fulfill a role so you're able to focus on the technical of photography. Yeah. Where in self portraiture, I was talking about like you have to sacrifice so much to because you can't see the back of the camera, you can't tell if you're in focus. Mm -hmm. Where this, you have way more control. It's like this moment is like when I'm like, okay. This is coming together. This is the exciting part when everything's set up and the model's put in. And you're like, it's gonna work. <laughs> so, yeah. if you go through like leaning further in, yeah, and then also with the back of it, like almost like looking back. No, no, so, so lean in, that's one look, yeah, all the way to laying and then, um, and then come back again and then look, yeah, look out, not just maybe out to over Sean's head that way. Um, Cause I'm going to be, I'm going to set the camera off and then I'm going to smoke. So the camera will just be going. So. Yeah. So start um, where start. you are. Yeah. And then go through some poses and uh, then, then, yeah, the yeah, to, yeah. And then to a, yeah. And then start. Yeah. But I, by the time that I set smokes off, I should be, be able to get back at the camera. But take it slow. Because I'm gonna be setting off smoke, I'm gonna put this 
on so it's shooting continuously while I go off and run around and do smoke. And then I've directed Lois to like from one post to another while this is shooting and I'm doing smoke. So we're nearly, oh, clouds have gone over. We're nearly ready to roll. <laughs> So if you start posing, I am just looking at the back of the camera, seeing if we've got good stuff. You just check. So the leaning forward pose, if you bring your left arm down, yeah, 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 that's better, that, that hand there, instead of not in, yeah. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> and like, um, yeah, that's per yeah, that's perfect. So pre-prep, it was, I sent Lois photos of herself of makeup she's done before. So it was like this look, and then we picked up this dress yesterday from Riri's in Rayleigh. Uh, I had so much to choose from and I had decision paralysis. <laughs> uh, so pre-prep was like a dress. Um, I have like four positions in my head. And then, so it'd be sitting kind of from the back and then a standing one and then a couple of others. I say I come to these things with a clear plan of what I want. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise you can get so lost because there's so much going on. Oh. Right, so I'm gonna... oh. <laughs> They're all flowing away! <laughs> Be free my children! <laughs> so uh, in the last two years I've only just started shooting on a tripod before I would just like run around with a camera and that is so you can almost like plant the shot and then then shoot a second with none of the props in so you have a clean slate to mask on top okay. in Photoshop. So it's like visual effects like you get your clean slate and you add the effects yeah. in later and I guess that gives you a lot more control with masking out the yeah. light stands and to just literally have floating clouds <clears throat> around yeah. your subject. And the other side of shooting with a tripod is that when I use smoke, I got massive, one massive smoke bomb, big boy smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the smoke will look great, but your face won't look great. So it's about, I'll then go choose the best smoke and choose the best face <laughs> and then put them together. Okay. All right, you ready? Just keep posing. It's a big boy. <laughs> it's only ever since that I've fully committed to the creative, people have then seen my worth compared so, to freelance. So in terms of like what people are paying for in terms of service, is that the way, right yeah. way to put it? Yeah. Are they asking for what you've already created? Is that part, part of it? Like they are asking how to get creative with the things you have around you. Like how, to, how can I be inspired in my everyday? How can I create worlds in my back garden? Do you want to create a career out of it? It's hard. So career wise, since I've really thrown myself into these sets, opportunities like with you guys um, with Wex Photo and um, with the No Collective and opportunities have opened up where people now come to me and go you're creative <laughs> it's almost like here's some money teach us how to do it where before I focused on getting paid work and it wasn't I could get clients but it wasn't like 
it wasn't my brand, it was you're just a photographer, where this is like, you do you, and we love that. Mm -hmm. So recent, last weekend, I just set up some clouds in a shopping mall for the Festival of Ideas. And so like, it's doing this has opened up other doorways, but it's because I do it for the love of it. That's it, <laughs> time to pack up. <laughs> I'm just laying in my clouds. This is the dream life for me. This is everything I could imagine. And I'm happy here. <laughs> I've seen multiple photos now where you've used this wool. So, you know, you say you've got like 10 kilograms of wool. How, how much? It's like 30 pounds. Well, there you go. 30 pounds is creating clouds in the sky that you'd think you'd have to bespoke, pay for and get crafted for you, but you literally made them yourself. Yeah. And being frugal with the light stands as well, and then just knowing you're going to paint them out later, it's like removing those barriers yeah. because you're planning for it. The innovation and not being so stuck in the failures is what I get asked to talk about. It's this wonder for the world, how I see it and how excited I get about it. And then I want to like be able, other people to be able to get that same feeling. Thank you for putting this on today, Hannah. Loving your work, hope to see a lot more. Oh, thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. And I hope you enjoy my chaoticness. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs>